Okay, lads. Um, welcome back to the vlog. I um, hope you're keeping well. This morning sees me in King's Yard here uh, in either South Tipperary or North Cork, right on the border anyway. And um, we're about to head off and try and climb the Galti Mountains. I'm not sure that we're dressed appropriately for it because I'm looking behind me there and there's quite a bit of cloud up on top of the mountains. It's a good weekend, this particular weekend uh, uh, at the end of May. And um, well, look, I've the camera with me. If I can get some shots, I'll certainly take them. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get here. Uh, I haven't been up these mountains in about 25 years. I'm beginning to sound like my parents now, but anyway, you know the score. And um, if I pick up anything and we shoot anything, and if there's anything interesting, I'll certainly uh, try and bring it to you. So anyway, hope you'll stay with me and I'll catch you in a minute.
ourselves we've arrived at the top of Gelty Moor and um, it's a beautiful day however not as beautiful here as you as it might look quite cold an eastern wind coming from that direction and uh, I'm facing north there the north behind me in the distance I'm not sure if you can make them out or not there are loads of, um, of wind turbines but uh, fantastic up here um, I have just behind me here as you can see the actual cross uh, at the top of Gelty Moor um, it's just a, a bit short of 3,000 uh, feet I think you're looking at about 920 meters all towards there about 3,000 feet it is the highest in um, it's the highest mountain in uh, in Munster outside of Kerry I think Mount Brandon and several of the McGillicuddy Reeks are higher than it. But anyway, we, we managed to get some great shots over along. Um, both Ivan and myself, and Ivan is, is Ivan Power is well used to the camera. Um, uh, got some great shots. Uh, lots of different kind of buttresses and large rocks which have overhangs. So we were able to stand up there and Derek gave us a hand as well with his fantastic red burghouse uh, jacket and uh, really delighted with that. Um, so we, I, I got more shots here than I thought because the last time I was up here was in the last millennium about 25 years ago and I, it, it certainly wasn't as nice a day and I didn't get, I didn't really think that there were going to be a lot of shots here to be honest with you so i'll give you a spin around in the minute there's the cross there behind us very very busy today there's um you can't see them but there's a massive big group down over these particular set of rocks here and they're in the lee of the actual wind and um, even on a lovely day a freezing cold wind so we're after warming up there had some hot drinks etc behind the rocks and yeah well we'll push on see if we can get any more shots now one thing i would say i did happen to i think lo lose my um my polarizer on the way up so some of the shots are without a polarizer and i'm kind of annoyed about that we will probably go back down the same way and maybe try and pick it up there was about two different areas that we stopped in so i'm just praying to god maybe at that point that it it fell out and i'll be able to see it on the ground a bit like looking for a needle in the haystack but these polarizers i think that one will come in about 60 70 euros and you can't afford to be losing those too often anyway talk to you in a minute Take care.
Okay, folks, we've uh, arrived back. And there's a sign there for the, the Galtee Mountains and Galtee Moor. Uh, we've arrived back here at the... Um, I'm over to check at the King's Yard. I had to go check that. Um, the reason I'm talking low is because there's quite a few people here. Massive amount of cars here. Um, went and had a look inside the actual car itself because uh, we were checking all down the mountainside as we came down, trying to retrace our steps using uh, an app that showed how we went up and basically I uh, couldn't find um, um, a filter, um, I'm trying to think of the word, a bit tired now at this stage, I couldn't find the polarizing filter and believe it or not, I took one look inside the actual car and there it was lying on the ground. Anyway, so it was a fantastic walk today, great company. Um, and beautiful weather. Uh, lovely place to come on a good day, obviously, isn't everywhere lovely? But um, I hope I got some decent shots. I, we were really happy with some of the shots that we got at the very top, especially when people were standing up on the rocks and the buttresses and um, uh, just saying goodbye there to Karen. And um, on top of that too, uh, just a great day out, a great walk, good, you know, good for the old heart, good for the lungs, particularly on the way up. So. If you enjoyed this vlog, well, why not give me a like? And if you want to come and join other adventures, be it the climbing ones or be the travel ones, uh, yeah, heading off next week now for a three or f no, sorry, a five day trip. Uh, not going to say where, but those vlogs will be coming out at some stage in the future. Please subscribe and click the button and click the bell to be reminded. And we'll talk to you then. Take care now. Bye.